First, create a folder with the name of your choice. In that case, I will call my folder MRTK Unity. Open Visual Studio Code and then make sure to open the folder that we just created. Open the browser and make sure to go to this website. Once you're there, click on code and then copy the address. Now we want to clone the repository or the folder. So click clone repository, provide the address. So to provide the address, code, you copy, then you paste the address, clone from URL, then you go to your folder, you open your folder, and you click on select repository location. Then let the cloning make it core, it's, it's course. Meanwhile, you can go to file, open folder, you go back into your folder, click on the new folder that is called Mixed Reality Toolkit Unity. You'll see a little guild folder in there, and then select the folder. Once you're there, Simply go to terminal, new terminal, and then we'll pull. So to pull, simply write git pull, and then the pull will start. Simply let it finish. It can take some time, because as you see, there's a lot of files in that repository. Once the pool is completed, open Unity, click on Add, select the folder, and then click on Select in Folder. And you will see that you'll have a small indication regarding the project saying the editor version associated with this project is not currently available on this machine. Go install and download the matching version. Simply select your latest version and then boot the project. Do you want to upgrade your project to a newer version of Unity? Say yes and confirm. If Unity is asking you to enter safe mode, simply in your Let the importing follow its course. Once you get this window, fail to load window layout, simply kit. Then open once again Unity. In the Unity Hub, select the project once again. It will ask you once again if you want to enter Save mode, in your once again. Now you'll have access to the project in Unity. Uh, you can ignore, the, for now, the, 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 the error in the console. And first of all, go to File, Build Settings, and make sure you go on to Android. And Select your device, then switch the platform. You can also see that there's already a scene for the build. It's hand interaction examples, and that's the scene that we'll use for the experiment. Once the switch has been done, you can close the build settings tab. And you'll see that you have a couple of facets here. 
you can go to MRPK and then examples, uh, common, uh, no, not common, demos. Then you'll see a bunch of demos. Go to hand tracking scenes, and then we're looking for the hand interaction examples. Let it run. It will ask you to import TMP essentials for Text Mesh Pro. Import it and then click on close. Now go to your project settings. You will see that the company name is Microsoft, as they are the developers. And then other settings. OK, in other settings. You should uh, make sure that you are in linear and you change to linear. It can take some time. And under project settings, player, make sure to remove open GLES2 by selecting it and then click on the minus sign. It will take some time. Here, in the minimum API level, make sure to be on a Marshmallow. You can see that their version is already at 2.7. Then, here, you can change Mono to IL2CBP. And then, make sure to click ARM64. Then, that's all for player, you can go to quality. In quality, make sure to select medium. And then simply to make sure that I have good shadows. I'll click on high resolutions for the shadow. That's it here. You will also need to get the Oculus integration kit. So go to this address. And then ready if you don't have it already. Something else will be there. Simply add it to your list of assets and then open it immediately. And make a search here. Oculus. There you go. Oculus integration. And then import. And once import unity package appear, simply make sure everything is selected. You can click the little all button either. Then import. This might take some time as the package is pretty big. Once it's completed, you'll see that on your scene you'll have different mixed reality toolkit here, and it's crucial. Make sure that active profile you select the default XR SDK cons. Configuration profile. In the Mixed Reality Toolkit tab, click on Utilities, and then Oculus, then Integrate Oculus Integration Unity Model. It should run a script compilation down there. Then let the application load. Then you'll see that an update to Oculus Utilities plugin will appear. Click Yes. Restart, upgrade. Restart, save. It will close, it will reopen. And then we can have the Oculus Specializer. 
and you can click on apply. Now, go to project settings, go to the XR plugin in management, and then click Oculus, Android, add it, do the same for Windows. And then it should be done. Now that it is done, click play. It should be working. And there you go. You have to not read the entire scene. So it's this little window that you have to grab. Then 